Oh yes, welcome to part three, everybody, of this Stern Quicksilver restoration video. I hope you guys enjoyed part one and two. I must say, I must say, my people friends are saying, stop using your time on filming these old machines because nobody will view those videos. Look at the gameplay videos with these old classics. Nobody will watch them, view them, go in and just you know, feel new uh, Sterns, new JJPs, they will be watched. <laughs> but it is what it is. I have so much love for these. So if you have 10 views, 10 comments, then I will be happy. Then we, I have connected with 10 other people, guys. So <laughs> I want to make part three. This is how I feel. This is what I will do. So again, Stern, Quicksilver. As you can see, most of the parts has been removed and I have waxed the play field. This is wax layer number one and I will clean it and put on wax two. And every time I will let it sit for 24 hours. That's what I do with, you know, WPC89 machine. So that's what I will do with these. Now on part two, I showed these. <laughs> I said some of them had a big head and others had smaller head and this is the first time i disassemble in 20 years in this industry first time i disassemble a stern machine <laughs> as i have found out that stern has these built in here you can remove them of course but and their heads are bigger so i didn't need to video document everything so it's pretty pretty simple stuff that's the first thing we talked about on part two. The other thing was, should I modernize it? <laughs> these are the original caps. And I got these new ones here. Uh, and I was like, I want to, you know, LED and put new caps and, you know, make it a bit more modern. But when I look at it like this, I think I will keep the original. So I think I think I will just clean up. The, I have I have I have cleaned these. I can see. <laughs> I think I will just use the original caps, guys. So I'm gonna keep it or, original. And to my big surprise, usually these thumpers they're made in metal, but on this game they're made of plastic. <laughs> it's odd, as you can see, plastic ones weird so we're gonna keep that original the other thing we were talking about was these this game uses these high star posts and behind the lanes they use these lower star, star posts and this is for Bella Williams as you can see the height doesn't fit so I was like in the beginning I was like I'm gonna use these red ones all over the place but no so we're gonna go with the original ones again so i was talking about putting some powerful leds and stuff like that but i think i'm gonna keep <laughs> everything original of course new rubber um new moving parts but just keep it original and make it in a yeah, playable condition the play field is fine but we have some inserts that, that, that are sunken down and that's why we have these wear spots because of they sunk down um, and one insert i have found about this one has lifted itself up it's just about to fell out so i'm gonna um, i'm gonna do something with this one and all of these either i'm gonna some of them are loose when they came home with shipping they were they were out they were falling out they were just missing it they had some holes and they were down up there so either i have to flatten them out and glue them in or get a play field protector um, I'm not sure yet, but uh, as of right now, with these things that I have been talking about, I think I will just keep it original. Let's remove a bit of wax here. I 
Oh, look at all that goo from the wax. Circular movements. My dad always says that when I wax my car. Circular movements. <laughs> yeah. As you can see. Oh, this is this is awesome. Ah, look at all the spots filled with wax. I have to clean it the proper way, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna remove it everywhere. Look, look at that wear spot, guys. So, and I have asked at a Facebook group called Pinball Enthusiasts of if I should get a playfield protector, and most of you guys are saying no. Don't install a playfield protector. But uh, yeah, this is how I do. I um, I wax the playfield. I have, a, I have of course I clean up everything. Then I wax the playfield and I let it sit for 24 hours. I don't know why. That that's some people say it's just two hours. That's enough. But I tend to wax everything. Let it sit. Let it really suck it in the playfield. And then I give second layer of wax. Wax on. Wax off. It's the name of this episode. <laughs> Why not? I'm still loving this. I'm enjoying this. It's summer. It's nice. I have a few hours before work. So, oh, look at this beauty. I mean, it's just hard to imagine that this, that this thing is 40 years old. It has got Mylar here from Stern and nowhere else. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, yeah, this is episode three, so yeah, we have made episodes one and two, you guys, I mean, some of you guys that own this game, they, you, you're writing like it's your holy grail also into, in, 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 in classic games, and, and some others, they're just retro Django, sell this, sell this, sell this, guys, I'm, I don't want to sell it, man, I... I've been looking for one of these for years and I want to play and enjoy it. Okay, so it's 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 not for sale. So watch the videos and, and, and enjoy it, guys. Um, as you can see, when you do stuff like this, remove everything the ball touches. So as you can see, the apron is gone. All the ball guides, everything has been taken out. It's, uh, it's it's over here, you can see not clean, no nothing. Just look at the condition. Look at it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean out the thing. So the game will be, you know, clean for years and years. <laughs> I have cleaned the plastic. I got some Novus too, uh, but it's over 40 years old. I think this game is from 1980 or 1981 or something like that. Over 40 years old. And the plastics were not cracked, no nothing. Uh, it chipped off or what you want to call it. Um, you can see at the back side, they weren't that bad. So I just, you know, used some soap and water, hot water, just cleaned it. Um, usually I will wax these, but to be honest, I'm a bit nervous of the, um, what's it called? The graphic pulling, chipping off when I use, you know, uh, one, oh, there's a little crack up there. <laughs> so I think I want to just keep it original like this. It's cool that it's original and it's cool that the plastic is not burned, melted. Because if we look at here... When these old bolts looks like, for, for example, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this is not just dirt, they are just crystallized. These bulbs were still working, but when they are crystallized like this, when it, when it has this chrome top, then they're really old. And the downside of it is they give so much more heat. I mean, they get so much more hotter <laughs> than the usual. So that means that you have very high risk to, uh, you know, burn the original old plastic, just burn it or melt it, make it out of shape. And I have, you know, 
I have checked all the plastics, especially them up top here. They were all, you know, chromed out and I have checked those plastics. They're not burned, they're not bent, nothing bad has happened. The plastics looks incredible, guys. So I'm really, really happy with this. I'm gonna keep it original and I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna enjoy it as it is. Playful protector, yes or no, I'm not sure yet. LEDs, uh, your answers are like 50-50. Some of you guys want me to install LEDs, others says no, keep that original also. The reason, I'm talking about the LEDs is not because of the brighter light, it's because of you know stressing the system lesser. Some says that LED uses five times less power, stresses lesser, and also gives uh, about much much lesser heat. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. So my biggest concern is right now these sunken uh, and, and very, very loose, they're loose, I, I can, the camera can't pick it up, but I can, I can, I can just push them from the back and they just fell out. It's only these inserts, none of the others I have checked, but they're bad, but I couldn't, I didn't know it, man, because this game just got shipped, I, I, I didn't know, and yeah, it is what it is. And this one, as you can see, this is high, I'm not gonna play it like this, uh, because every time the ball hits this one and this is the right spinner it will hit it a million times when I play this game because I love the spinner shots on this game so this one has to be perfect level or it will hit here the ball will jump up and this insert will crack down here the inserts are lower that means every time the ball hops over it will crack the wood I'm not gonna paint this this is gonna be original as it is but I'm definitely either gonna level them, a lot of work, or install a playfield protector. <laughs> and usually when I contact playfieldprotector.com, they will say, well, Retro Django, we will just send you, we will sponsor that video, no problem, buddy. They're, they're so cool, uh, people, uh, playfieldprotector.com, they're like, uh, just tell me how many ones, which games we will send it to. They're so cool, so, so cool. You can go in and check out my videos on that. So, um, yeah. So uh, on up upcoming part, I will um, show you how I reassemble everything on part four. And on part five, I will definitely completely remove the um, drop down targets here and there, uh, completely remove them. It's not gonna just be clean like that. They, they need to be all fully cleaned. Uh, this one doesn't work the proper way. This one is okay, but I mean, springs, everything just needs to be like 2023 <laughs> so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one um, and i hope you are enjoying me showing some of the older games i mean why not man i have a lot of love for these so yeah i wish you all a great great day out there retro Django is going to work bye